Hi guys, so I'm back with another recipe and this time I'm going to be making Jamaican style braised oxtails. So the first thing I do is start out by washing the oxtails with some vinegar. Um, this just kind of takes away the rawness of it and just makes the meat, you know, clean. I know some people don't like washing their meat, but this is what I grew up doing. Next thing I do is just have all my seasonings together. I'm going to be using black pepper, all-purpose seasoning, seasoned salt, garlic salt, and cayenne pepper. I'm also going to be using ketchup, soy sauce, browning, and butter beans. If you ever have food at a Jamaican's house, then you know that we love using our herbs and spices just to give the food that added kick and the added flavor. So today I'm going to be using a scotch bonnet pepper, red and green peppers chopped, scallion, garlic, thyme, and onion. The next thing I do is just combine all my ingredients together, all the herbs and spices and all the seasonings that I mentioned earlier. I either take a fork and just mix it all together or I use a rubber glove just to use my hands to rub it all together. If you're pressed for time, you could just put it in the fridge for 30 minutes or you could leave it overnight to marinate. The next thing I do is just take some extra virgin olive oil to add to the pot. You could use whatever oil you like, but this is the one I prefer using. I just add a little bit lightly to the pot. I don't need a lot because I'm just going to be braising the oxtails. It's not like you're frying chicken where you need a whole pot of oil, so just use sparingly. So after I leave it for like 5 minutes to get hot, then I just start adding the oxtails in one piece at a time. Because I'm going to be braising it, I just want to make sure that they all fit correctly and everything is going to be browned on each side. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing right now, which is adding each piece of oxtails in one at a time. So once I add each piece of meat to the pot, this is what it should look like. I don't want to have everything crowded because I want everything to get braised correctly on each side. So this is why I just took my time and just added each piece in one at a time. So after separating the oxtails and putting it in the pot, this is what I'm left with. I'm left with all the seasonings and all the herbs from before that I'm going to add later on. So right now the oxtails have been braising for about 5 minutes, so here I'm just checking on them. You can see it's turning from the red color to more of a brownish color. It's not 100% braised as yet, but I just don't want any piece of meat to start burning, so I'm just going to continuously check up on it to make sure that each piece is getting done correctly. So at this point, the oxtails have been braising for about 20 minutes. They no longer have that bloody red look. They're starting to look brown and golden. You know the color that we need it to be. But I'm going to leave it braising for another 20 minutes or so just to get it fully browned. So it's been about another 20 minutes since the oxtails have been browning. So now I'm just going to prepare like four cups of hot water just to pour over it so it can start simmering. Whenever I used to see my mom or my dad cook in Jamaica, they usually use hot water for meat instead of cold water because this allows the meat to be more tender. So this is just something that I've also been doing over the years. So right now I'm also going to just be adding all the spices and herbs that I put away to the side earlier back to the meat just to get that nice rich flavor back to the gravy. So once I finish adding everything back to the pot, I'm just going to start mixing everything all together just to get it nice and marinated. So I covered it and left it for 15 minutes. So now I'm just here checking in on it just to make sure it's not sticking and make sure that, you know, it's cooking good. At this point, I've allowed the oxtails to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes, but now that the water is starting to get a little bit low, it's time for me to prepare the ketchup and soy sauce for the gravy. So I basically just mix around 4 tablespoons of ketchup and 4 tablespoons of soy sauce. 
this is just something that I've added over the years. I'm not sure if everyone adds soy sauce to theirs, but this has made my oxtails taste really good. I also added a little bit of brown sugar, maybe about a teaspoon or so. So once I've added the soy sauce and ketchup to the gravy, I'm just now about to mix around everything together just to get the gravy nice and flavorful with what I just added. So once I covered the pot and allowed it to simmer for another 20-30 minutes, then it's time to add the butter beans to the pot. So once I add the butter beans to the pot, I'm just going to be mixing everything around like I've been doing just to get everything evenly dispersed. So I've allowed the oxtails to keep cooking for another 15-20 minutes and now the butter beans are almost cooked through. The oxtails are looking a lot more tender but the gravy just needs to get a little bit thicker so I'm just going to leave it for another 20-25 minutes. So at this point the gravy has thickened a bit more so the oxtails are completely finished so you could go ahead and turn off the stove. 